Who was Stalin's spy in Japan, silently weaving a web of espionage that would alter the course of World War II? How did this real-life James Bond, operating under the guise of a German journalist, manage to penetrate the highest echelons of Japanese society and gather vital intelligence for the Soviet Union? And in the dangerous world of espionage, what drove him to risk it all, ultimately paying the price with his life? Join us on a journey through history and explore the captivating tale of the sword spy ring and its enigmatic mastermind. The Sword Spy Ring, also known as the Red Orchestra, was established in the 1930s with Richard Sorge as its central figure. Richard Sorge, born in 1895 in Russia, was a dedicated communist and a member of the Soviet intelligence agency, the GRU. Sorge was known for his exceptional ability to blend into different societies and cultivate valuable contacts. Interestingly, Richard Sorge was often referred to as Ramsey, as a code name within the Soviet intelligence apparatus, and his reports were highly regarded by Moscow. Richard Sorge was a daredevil, a womanizer, and a rule breaker. He was not just the model for Ian Fleming's James Bond, he was the actual James Bond. Sorge recruited a diverse network of spies and informants, including Germans, Japanese, and other nationalities. His team included individuals from various walks of life, such as journalists, diplomats, and military officers. Max Clausen was Sorge's radio operator and was responsible for transmitting coded messages back to Moscow. His role was vital in maintaining communication between the spy ring and Soviet intelligence. Hans Günther Klamroth was a German Luftwaffe officer, a key member of the spy ring. His position within the German military allowed him to gather information about German military plans and operations. Hatsumi Ozaki, a Japanese journalist, was another critical member of the network. He was responsible for gathering political and military intelligence within Japan and the region. Branko Vukalic, a Yugoslav diplomat stationed in Berlin, provided valuable information about Nazi Germany's intentions and activities. He contributed to the spy ring's knowledge of Nazi plans. <music> Lastly, Erdnaza was a spy within the German embassy in Tokyo, who played a pivotal role in providing information about Operation Barbarossa the German invasion of the Soviet Union. The collective efforts of these individuals, along with others who remained unnamed or lesser known, formed the Sorge spy ring. This espionage network played a crucial role in shaping the course of the war, providing invaluable information to the Soviet Union. Richard Sorge's primary base of operations was Japan, a critical location during World War II 
due to its proximity to both the Soviet Union and China. In Tokyo, he had managed to secure a job as a journalist for the prestigious German newspaper, Frankfurter Zeitung. This cover allowed him to move in elite social circles and gain access to valuable information. Posing as a German journalist, Sorja established connections with high-ranking Japanese officials, journalists, and diplomats. His access allowed him to gather crucial intelligence. Perhaps the most remarkable achievement of the Sorja spy ring was its penetration of the German embassy in Tokyo. Sorja cultivated relationships with high-ranking German officials, including the German ambassador to Japan, Eugen Ott. These contacts provided access to critical German military and political intelligence. One of Sorge's most significant contributions was his reporting on Germany's plans to invade the Soviet Union in 1941. His sources within the German embassy in Tokyo provided information about Operation Barbarossa, which was instrumental in helping the Soviet Union prepare for the German onslaught. While Sorge's main focus was on Germany, he also collected vital intelligence on Japan's intentions. He reported on Japan's reluctance to attack the Soviet Union, which influenced Soviet strategy in the Far East. One of Sorge's remarkable abilities was to earn the trust of his contacts. His reputation as a journalist and his charismatic personality allowed him to maintain relationships with influential individuals many of whom were unaware of his true identity and motives. Despite his success, Sorge's espionage activities eventually attracted suspicion from Japanese authorities. In 1941, some of his network members were arrested and subjected to intense interrogation. Sorge was arrested shortly thereafter on 18th October 1941 in Tokyo. It was discovered that Ott's wife was a regular visitor to Sorge's house and that he had spent his last night as a free man sleeping with her. Even while facing extreme torture during interrogations, Sorge did not reveal any sensitive information. He maintained his loyalty to the Soviet Union until the end. In November 1944, Richard Sorge was executed by hanging in Japan, along with several of his associates. After his capture and subsequent execution, Sorge's contribution to the Soviet war effort was undeniable. Richard's espionage work and the Sorge spy ring were recognized for their pivotal role in World War II. Sorge posthumously received the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, one of the Soviet Union's highest honors. His dedication to the communist cause and his ability to build trust with high-ranking officials allowed him to play a pivotal role in history, even at the cost of his own life. The Sorge spy ring remains a testament to the power of shadow operations in wartime. If you enjoyed hearing about this real-life James Bond, check out our channel and subscribe for more epic stories of World War II.